Scary. Do not do. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition. And Ronnie's waiting for me outside. Ah, Dayton! Good riddance. What up, dude? Guess who just got a brand new badass mission from Petrol just now? That's right, we're gonna steal these crazy rare TMs from this old collector guy up in Cerulean. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, that's Bill. Yeah, uh, sorry, I got all worked up over the whole fossil thing earlier. But hey, it's all good now. Why should I care about some stupid old fossils when I've got a real robbery to take care of now, right? Yeah, my time has come. I can feel it. Oh, what's that? You got a mission in Cerulean too? Damn, right on. Maybe you'll even get to see me in action as I break into the old guy's house then, eh? Yeah, maybe. Guess we better head up. Head on east of here through Saffron, and then north from there to get to Cerulean. Did you hear they made a secret rocket base in the daycare center? South of the city? How cool is that? How about I meet you there? The daycare man? How could he do this? <laughs> He's betrayed my trust. Man, am I ready to do some burglarizing. Talk to you later. I do. Okay, so we gotta go through Saffron? Dang, I I'm, I'm gonna get a little lost here. You lowly rockets. I knew I should have never trusted that grunt to take care of my Sylph scope. Now what I'm gonna do? Sylph will fire me for sure. Yeah, maybe I should just join the rockets after all. Oh yeah, dude, sign up. We out here now. All my Pokemon are like healed, right? Hell yeah. Also super low level, but that's okay, I guess. Well, we'll make it happen. Should I like get some Pokeballs or something? Hmm. Hey there. I'm, I'm to tell you that the road through here is just about to close, so I'm not really supposed to let any more people through. Persistent, aren't you? Well, I don't know. There's this cranny right here in my pocket that's just about the size of a 200 poke bill, and, well, of course, I'm not one to go against what my superiors tell me. No, sir, but, you know, mistakes and slip-ups happen all the time, and, well, hmm? Yeah, all right. Oh, what's this? I think I've been struck by a sudden momentary blindness. Oh, well, it happens from time to time. You know, I think this affliction might be contagious. It'll probably spread to the other guards. My, my. What can you do? Unfortunate, that. What a... What an inexpensive blindness. <laughs> Is this that, uh, Mimic House? Thank you for writing. Hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. I oh, was it? No, oh, it was me. The copy gets so cute. I'm getting her polka doll. Yeah, totally. Me too. And then I'll steal her polka doll. Ha ha ha. Oh, mister, mister, can Copycat come out to play? D don't call her that. That's a made-up fantasy name. Your friend has been acting strange lately. I think she's not feeling well right now. She needs to stay home. Yeah. Shining Golden Land of Commerce. Hail Commerce. Should, should I go in, like, the dojos? I'm gonna get my shit handed to me. Wah! What's this? A criminal has entered our dojo. They warned us about you. Wah! You rocket, you're not welcome here. Be gone. Leave us. Don't come back. Hiya! Okay. Maybe later. I have to rank up my skills. Dogs are going crazy outside. I know the caretaker's awake now. We're recording this nice and early in the morning, so uh, everything's everything's gonna be great. So welcome to Cerulean, herb buddy. Fantastic. Can I have you, Slowbro? Okay, Slowbro, you Sonic Boom. Come on, Slowbro, pay attention. Slow... Bro... Pokeballs... Man, everything's so expensive. I had to spend all my money. I guess it's good that I didn't go, like, buy one Pokeball or whatever. Pokemon can be made to hold an item. Yep. Sure can. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I want to ride my bicycle. What in the... Do you think you could just waltz in here and steal yourself one of our expertly, painstakingly crafted top-grade bicycles? Of course. Who do you think you are? Oh, a rocket. Is that it? You think it's cool, do you? You think stealing the fruits of other men's labor is cool? 
You think that gluttonously taking whatever your greedy hands can reach without regard for the well-being or the needs of this region's people, let alone the prosperity of its fledgling economy, is cool? Yeah. You. You are the embodiment of, of everything that is wrong with the world. You immoral youngsters, walking around like you own everything you see, like everything's owed to you by virtue of having been born. I fought in the war for your sort, you know. Does that give you something worthwhile to think about, huh? N no? Gah! Impossible to get through to you with words, is it? Well, f fine. You asked for it, bandit. If I could defend my region in the war, I could defend myself in battle against crooks like you. Oh, snap. Was not expecting this, but okay. Bring it on, Larry. You got that Pikachu. Level 11? My goodness. That's quite something, isn't it? Well, um, I'm not liking how this matchup is turning out, so let's switch into Capone real quick. Because I know that Thundershock's coming and Capone can at least resist it. He goes for Thunder Wave instead. Okay. Paralysis is no problem, because Paris is slow as shit anyways. So here's the Thundershock. No damage. <laughs> yeah, got you now, boy. And that paralysis is uh gonna gonna be a pain. So I'll get the poison powder going. Oh, but it missed. So I guess I won't get the poison powder going. Yeah, the the paralysis shouldn't have much of an effect because Paris is slow, but if I keep getting fully paralyzed, then what are you supposed to do with that? Got a chip away. A little chip damage. He goes for Tail Whip, goes for Growl. Everything's fine. Can't really hurt me with a Thunder Shock. And that poison, it's doing its work. I hope his Pokemon don't get any stronger than this, though. Level 11 is a, a quite, quite something to come up against. At least at this point in the game. So go ahead, show me what your Thunder Shock do. What'd it do? Oh, nothing still? Why didn't that Tail Whip help your Thunder Shock? Because it's a special move. Ha ha! Another Thunder Shock. We're gonna be fine. You're doing great. You're doing great, little guy. Even though you're fucking paralyzed every single turn. This, this is, this is ugly. Alright, Bonnie, go for it. Get in there, show him the thing. Make it do what it do. And... I assume he's gonna have, like, another starter Pokemon. Because those are apparently the war... War Pokemon. Dahmer grew to level 8. Beautiful. A little bit of EXP all around. Diglett. Diglett dig. Are you gonna dig? No, nope, he's not. Just a Mud Slap. So now I've got, a uh, Growl to drop my attack and Mud Slap to drop my accuracy. So this is not looking good. I'm gonna switch right into Clyde. So all you can do is scratch. So he goes for Astonish, which wouldn't have worked on Clayfairy either, I don't think. Whatever. Goes for Gal again. That's fine. We got plenty of attack. This is this is a high-powered move, okay? Super fly attack. You can't hang with that. He's gonna keep growling, isn't he? My goodness. Come here, little poop mole. What you wanna do? Sand attack. How does sand attack hit me? I thought it's a ground... ground attack. Well, fart. At least fly hit. No problem. I got some. Mmm, delicious EXP. Thank you for that. I thank you, I thank you. Fury attack. Yeah, I want to learn fury attack. Let's get rid of growl. Or leer. Who cares? <laughs> but yeah. Fury attack, that's nice. If my, my if my rolls are good, I can get five hits in a row. So let's try it. Fury! It missed. Great. <laughs> so that's fantastic. Super furious. Maybe I should leer him first. But well, let's just see what fury attack does, if I can actually hit it. One attack. Two attacks. Three attacks. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, rock. 4 o'clock, 5, 6, 11 o'clock, rock. Um, 
Maybe I switch into Bonnie? I don't know. Probably doesn't matter too much. I just kind of want to get some levels for Bonnie. If, if need be, I could switch directly back into Clyde. Hey, Bonnie and Clyde, the teaming up on the Zubat. That's fun. Uh, should I encore? Should I sing? Let's try sing. Oh my god, Astonish actually hits? I guess there is, uh... Whatever, fairy typing in this in this game. I guess I didn't really look too closely at, uh... At Bonnie's stats and things, did I? Hmm, yeah, it's fairy. Well, shoot! I don't know what to do with that information. Hmm... I could probably try to sing it one more time. Oh god, stop with the astonishing. Sing misses again. This is a trash move. Such a trash move. Alright, Clyde, come in here, save your girl. You gotta do it now. He goes for bite. That hurts. My goodness. Let's uh, hope that Fly does massive damage. It's pretty okay. Oh my god. Everything's going to be fine. You're doing great. <laughs> how did you how did you fight in a war with these Pokémon, Mr. Bike Man? That don't make no sense. I don't believe you. You went to Canada, didn't you? You hit out, Mr. Shin Splints. <laughs> Positively inconceivable. Inconceivable. What's the world come to? Disarm, defenseless. At the hands of some pink-haired, costume-wearing punk? No. Hey, no, please don't! I won't allow m my my bicycles! Dayton stole a bicycle from the bike shop. Yeah, boy. Thank you. You fiend! Un- Evil, ungrateful, vile... Okay, bye! Every time I try to ride my bike indoors, it's as if there's this voice that goes off in my head, compelling me to stop. It's pretty weird. I hope I'm not going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. I got that five-finger discount, son. Can't top that. Can't top that. Hmm. I thought about playing Animal Crossing today, but... Man, how, how am I going to say no to the Team Rocket? I got work to do, alright? We can't just sit around. I mean, that's most of what Team Rocket does. But that's why they're unsuccessful, you see? That Bill. I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokémon. He's not above doing all sorts of things I've heard. Oh, really? Bill on Team Rocket, too? Bill has lots of Pokémon. He collects rare ones, too. Well, let's go pay him a visit, then. See if we can't come across some of these rare Pokémon. My parents keep telling me I'm not allowed to go through the underground path, but they just won't tell me why. Because you're tiny. My Pokemon seem really tired after coming back from the daycare center. That ungrateful little thing, it cost me a lot of money, too. So, the daycare man is not stealing Pokemon, right? Because that would just be devastating to me. I thought there's like a, a something over here. I think I need the item finder to get it. Doesn't It doesn't seem like it can get it. That's just part of my memory, I'm not sure. <laughs> Only trainers with an official license can collect gem badges. Bums like you who battle without one should be thrown in jail. Oh, that's right. You need government authority to do everything, don't you? Don't you? Need it to go outside and catch COVID? <laughs> I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. It's too bad you don't have any friends to crush berries with. I, I got a crew. I got an evil team of friends. Evil friends. What's up with Nugget Bridge? There's nobody on Nugget Bridge? Oh, yes there is. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? Yeah, it might take me a couple episodes, but, uh... <laughs> I could do it. He's just got, like, a bunch of weak shit. Oh, my. I don't really want any of these, I don't think. Unless you got, like, some secret amazing thing in the back. But it's probably gonna be all Caterpies and, and Weedles. I guess I'll take a Weedle. Ooh, Venonat. Yeah, I need that too. Venomoth is actually not terrible. I think Butterfree is better in the current, uh, you know, 
metagame and stuff like that, but we ain't playing the metagame. We're just playing some, some Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. It's in-game. It doesn't really matter what you use at this point. Let's send Rotata. I suppose if Rotata could evolve into Eradicate, we'd be in pretty good shape. But, uh, now he's confused, so don't hurt yourself. Do the quick attack. Good boy. Yeah, you got it. Got it. Fantastic. Dom, learn learned Double Kick. Absolutely amazing. Now we have something to use against Rock types, which I know there will be some. Uh, should we quick attack again? Guess so. Yeah! Oh... Poison Sting's bad. I don't like Poison Sting. Let's go back into the Poison Pokemon. Dahmer, come out here and save us from this Weedle. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Can't poison me. I'm already poisoned. Poison is my life. My life for the Horde. <laughs> ah, piece of cake. Venom, that's pretty sick. I'm trying to think who I should switch out. Hang on, you're not a rocket, are you? <laughs> you noticed. Steal a Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Give me your Venonat, son. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, would you like to give a nickname? Yeah, sure. I think probably the most appropriate name for a Venonat gangster would be, uh, Bugsy. Bugsy, meh. Bugsy Seagull, that's my name. Bugsy was sent to box one. I might also want to replace um, Wigglesnout with Bugsy, but not yet. Not yet. I know we'll get that Butterfree pretty soon. I'm second. Now it's serious. Are you sure? I don't think I can steal her Pokemon. She's a lass. So sad. I can just covet them from afar. They're like, oh, look at that cool thing she's got. Pidgey, sand attack. Doesn't have any any flying moves, does it? I don't believe it do. It's gonna take fucking forever to do this with Wiggle Snot. Wiggle Snot. I think that's the biggest sign that uh, I should swap him out for somebody. Is the fact that he doesn't have a gangster name at all. He ain't a gangster. Oh my god, I hate this friggin' sand attack. Oh crap. And now I'm missing. Don't miss! Oh my god. The Dawn. The Dawn. Dawn of Dawn. Down she goes. Well, <clears throat> I guess we're gonna get Clefairy in there. No, no sand attacks allowed, okay? Encore it into tackle. Oh god, and it's a crit. That's terrible. But, I mean, at least it is locked into something, so... Can I live? <laughs> it's close. I don't have any rock types or anything. I'm sorry, Bonnie. You gotta take one for the team. Oof. Who knew that this last would give me so much trouble? Alright, now it's serious. Pidgey's Encore ended just in time. Fury attack. It misses every time. You didn't even sand attack me yet. It's still fucking missed. Alright, we're going for fly then. I gotta fly up high. Away from your nasty little sand attacks. There we go. God, Pidgey's fucking dangerous. What? <laughs> what is happening here? What's next? Oddish? Oh. You're so dead. Flying is like a really good type early in the game. It still maintains some of its usefulness, like, later on, but early game, it it really wrecks some shit. Ooh-wee! And a bell sprout. Should I share some EXP? I guess not, whatever. Clyde's just gonna be the operator. Get rid of all these grass poking hands. I'll need none of that. Go ahead, slam him right in the face. It missed. God. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. What about Peck? You just Peck? Yeah, that's that's pretty good. 
I think Fly would have been one hit KO, but I guess Peck works. And this thing just keeps using growth. You think you're gonna growth to maximum? Oh shit, <laughs> that vine would really hurts after three growths. But it ain't enough. Not enough gas, kiddo. Woohoo! Can I have can I have one of your your Pokemans? I think I want uh Bell Sprout. Yeah, give me your Bell Sprout. How could I lose? I don't know. I did my best. I have no regrets. But the challenge wasn't meant for bad guys. <laughs> Sucker. You didn't you didn't say that as a stipulation. The door's locked. Well, fart. Fart and poop also. I need to I need to strengthen my dudes up just a little bit. This is some madness going on here. We've restored your Pokémon. We hope to see you again. <laughs> Everybody's just such a sucker. Like, hey, bad guy. Hey, Team Rocket fella. Oh, yo, champ in the making. The leader Misty's a pro who uses water type Pokemon. Hey, what's that you're wearing? Can I see your trainer card, please? I don't have one. Hmm? No. That's just as I thought. The nerve. This gym's not for bums and petty thugs, you hear? Get out! And don't come back unless it's with an official training license. Damn, dude, they really do kick me out of every gym. This is gonna be my zero badge run of, <laughs> of Fire Red. Hooray. I don't think I can get back to the daycare center from here. So, uh, we're gonna have to continue up the Nugget Bridge. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll make the episode run a little long. That's fine. I wanna get one more Pokemans before we end it for today. What up, doll? Here's number three. I won't be easy. Uh, bro, I, I kind of bet you will, though. <laughs> what you got? Sand Shrew. Oh, cute. I love him. I will take him home as my very own. Um, this is this is gonna be a pain. Tackles and tackles. Oh my. And of course, he goes for defense curl. This this is not gonna be good. When I said it's gonna wrong, run long, I didn't mean like extra long. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I don't think I have any special attackers really. So he's just gonna defense curl and sand attack and I'm gonna sit here and die. Ugh. That's so terrible. Alright, maybe Bonnie can do something that I can't predict quite yet. Oh, Poison Sing, that's, that's awesome. Super effective move. You'll love to see it. Here, have a sing. Have a little sing. Wonderful. It's too bad you can't encore them into sleeping. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead, spam pound. Just pray for a fucking crit, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Defense girl's just... Uh, uh, the bane of my existence. And he's going for the sand attacks again. Come on. Why are you doing this? Well, we'll uh, switch back. Back and forth and back and forth. I don't even care. If I had a Butterfree... Oh no. It's rollout. Oh no! It's super effective. This is not gonna be good. And the, the damage is like doubled, I think, because he used Defense Curl before it. So, uh, that's, that's really bad. Really quite bad. I guess we'll send out the Dawn. Damn, dude. Scary. Do not do. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts. God, it hurts. Please let it be over. <laughs> this is so painful. Ugh, I hate it. Double kick. One, two. One more of those would KO him, but he's still rolling out. So I think we got KO'd. Ouch. One move just decimated half of my team. Shit, I hope pound is enough. Okay, wow. That was 
Scary. They're scary. And Ekins. Which is uh, gonna be a bit of a pain because this is my, my fairy type. So we basically gotta switch into Clyde because Capone is also gonna be weak to Ekins. Poison moves or whatever. So hopefully we don't get poisoned. That's gonna like deter me from using Fly. Oh boy. This is this is a nasty fight. So Ekans or Sandshrew? Fairy type is a thing. Hmm. Ow, stomp flat. That's right, boy. Steal a Pokemon? That's right, boy. Give me your Sandshrew, son. Ah. Nice. Nice. And I think his name should be Dillinger. Is that going to fit? John Dillinger. That's right. Just barely. I think I spelled it right. <laughs> cool. So we'll swap the team around a little bit. Maybe I'll catch some levels before the next episode. I seem to be getting stomped out pretty hard. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope that you like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy, check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. And a big shout out to Nika the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. I shall see you in the next episode, friends. Thank you as always, and until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.